गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर ऑन चैप्टर नंबर फाइव डिटर्मिनस दिस इज फुल वीडियो आई होप यू आर रेडी विथ योर बुक सो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली सो डिटर्मिनस एंड एडजेक्टिव योर सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवेन बिफोर यू बट बिफोर दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू समथिंग अबाउट द डिटर्मिनस See, determiners and adjectives are related in such a way that they both modify a noun or a noun phrase. However, the main difference between the two is that determiners are placed before nouns and introduce them, while adjectives modify nouns by providing further details about them. Now, the uh, some phrases are there in front of you. Let's see. Read the phrases given below. a pet dog the pet dog each pet dog every pet dog my pet dog their pet dog this pet dog some pet dog now the highlighted word in the phrase is points out which specific pet dog we talked about so these highlighted words are called determiners now let's read some more about it now adjectives and determiners both adjectives and determiners modify a noun but there is a difference between them let's see the difference adjectives provide extra information about the noun they tell us about a quality of the noun and can be used before or after a noun determiners determiners introduce the noun by pointing it out specifying it or by quantifying it they can be used only before a noun this you have to remember that determiners can be used only before a noun in fact they are placed before the adjectives or other words that modify the noun see determiners are placed before adjectives or other words that modify the noun and adjectives are placed before noun to qualify it so you have to remember that determiners are placed before the adjectives or other words that modify the noun this you have to remember it properly now see the example i like this blue umbrella i do not like that green umbrella now here you can see that adjectives is highlighted in green color and determiner is highlighted in red color so you can see in the example that umbrella is the noun in this sentence and blue is qualifying umbrella what type of umbrella blue umbrella and before blue you can see this so this is the determiner which is specifying the noun that this blue umbrella so blue is here adjective which is which is qualifying noun umbrella and this is your determiner then i do not like that green umbrella in the same way here again you can see that green um, green umbrella green again is an is a functioning as an adjective it is qualifying noun and that is specifying that green umbrella so that is determiner next example we can drive my old car and your new car can be parked here now again car is the noun here and old is adjective old is giving extra information about the noun old car so old is adjective and my is pointing out that my old car my my old car so my is determiner then same your new car again here you can see that car is the noun and new car so this new is adjective it is uh, qualif 
qualifying it and your is specifying pointing pointing it so this your is determiner so remember this that adjectives provide extra information about the noun whereas determ determiners introduce the noun by pointing it or specifying it or quantifying it now kinds of determiners there are two kinds of determiners referring determiners and next is quantifying determiners referring determiners in referring determiners articles demonstratives and possessives comes so articles demonstratives and possessives are the referring determiners articles a and the the articles a and n are the indefinite articles they are used before nouns being spoken of for the first time or when we mean one or any this you know it very well because this you are learning from lower classes so a and n are the indefinite articles and we use the uh, we use a and n when we talk about the noun first time or when we mean one or any then the article the is the definite article it is used when the noun referred to is familiar and known or a particular ones for example i saw a buffalo and an elephant together on a farm now here i am explaining about the articles and articles are highlighted in red color so in this example you can see first example see that i saw a buffalo and an elephant together on a farm now here a and an is used and uh, here we are talking about first time about the buffalo about the elephant and about the farm so you can see that how uh, a and an is used now in the next sentence you can see the buffalo and the elephant on the farm were great friends now now here it is definite we are talking about um, we are when we are talking about these nouns it is already when we talked about the first time then indefinite articles are used and now it is definite so you can see that the article the is used then comes demonstrative demonstratives point out a particular person animal place or things now what are the demonstrative words this that these and those are the demonstratives now you have to remember that this and that is used with the singular and uncountable nouns so here it is given that use this and that with singular and uncountable nouns and these and those are used with plural nouns so remember that use these and those with plural nouns see the examples this handbag may be allowed in the cabin but that luggage is too bulky so you can see that this and that is used with the singular okay and uncountable now see handbag is countable but luggage is uncountable then pollen from these flowers was picked by those butterflies now here flowers plural and butterflies again it is plural so here these flowers and those butterflies so remember that this and that is used with the singular and uncountable nouns and these and those are used with plural nouns the next comes possessives possessives show who or what owns something they are used before nouns possessive words like my are your 
his her their and its are possessives let's see example if you press its button it will set off an alarm your dance was more appreciated than our song my father is very honest and loving so here you can see that it shows position my father your dance its button our song so possessives show who or what own something it shows the ownership then uh, again you can see that possessives are used before nouns now here to make it clear some examples are given in front of you these examples are not given in your textbook let's see determiners and then pronoun see the demonstrative words are this that these and those now sometimes it is said that it is determiner then then sometimes it is said that no its function as a pronoun so it creates a confusion so to make it clear i made a chart and so from the examples it will be very easy to identify that where it is determiner and where it functions as pronoun so you have to remember that determiners used before nouns and pronouns used in place of noun this you know it very well so pronoun is used in place of noun so see the uh, demonstratives uh, demonstratives words are this that these and those In same way in the pronoun also it is given this that these and those now you have to see the example where it functions as a determiner and pronoun <clears throat> in the bracket it is given that determiners used before nouns now see the example this book is mine now here this book is mine determiners used before nouns now here book is noun the next example these clothes are ours again clothes is your is noun i do not like that car again car is your noun then th those notes are yours here again those notes notes is is noun so determiners are highlighted in red color so you can see that how determiners are used before nouns and we can say that this these that and those in these examples are determiners now let's see the next slide this was my mother's ring now here pronoun are used in place of noun now noun is placed at the place of subject it can be placed at the object okay so here you can see the example that this was my mother's ring here this is used in place of noun so here this is pronoun it is not the determiner you can see that after this there is no noun so you can identify in this way that determiners used before nouns and here you can see that here this is functioning as pronoun because it is placed it is used in place of noun in the same way that looks like the car i used to drive again that here is pronoun it's not a determiner okay the next example these are nice shoes again here this is functioning as a pronoun it is not determiner because it is used in place of noun so in this way you can identify that where it's functioning as a determiner and where it is functioning as pronoun so don't get confused then see the possessives same here uh, see the um, examples of uh, possessives in determiners the possessives are my your are his her its their and ones in the same way in the pronouns you can see uh, mine yours ours his hers its theirs and ones now see the example the example is given her clothes are very neat and clean again it's very easy to identify that it is functioning as determiner because 
after her after this possessive clothes are given so clothes is your noun my father is very honest and loving again my father you can see here my father father is noun so my is possessive is used before noun so it is determiner in the same way last example of determiner your brother is too young to take this responsibility so again brother is noun and determiner is used before noun here your is determiner see the next side there are they are hers she always wears them now they are hers means she possesses something so it is written that they are hers she always wears them now after her there is no noun so so here hers is not a determiner it is a pronoun the next example that book isn't mine my book is at home again mine here is a uh, is used in place of a noun mine so mine is here pronoun then last example whose is this book is it yours so again here yours is not the determiner it is pronoun i hope it is clear that uh, how you can differentiate between the possessive and determiners when it is used in a sentence you will not get confused only you have to remember that determiners are always used before nouns and pronouns are used in place of noun the next is quantifying determiners quantifying determiners tells the quantity means how much or number means how many of the noun is there so this again is divided into two determiners of number and determiners of quantity see numbers will tell us that how many and quantity will tell us how much when we uh, when it is uncountable so it will tell us how much now let's read something more about determiners of numbers and determiners of quantity it's very easy determiners of numbers tells how many some numerals determiners are 1 2 4 first 3 quarters several many and a few now one example is given there that there was one man and a few wo- women at the fee counter so here you can see that it is telling the number how many how many numbers how many nouns are there how many men one man and how many women a few women so here one and a few is a determiner we can say that this is the determiner of numbers then determiners of quantity quantity of the noun tells how much when we when we can't count then we can ask the how much it it's it will be in the quantity so uh, quantity of the noun tells how much now some quantifiers are much any no enough some little and lots of for example i have lots of rice but no curry to offer now here curry and rice we can't count so it will come in into the category of quant- quantity so here lots of and no is determiner it is the determiner of quantity so quantity of the noun tells how much then last example there is little hope of his success again hope hope is uncountable we can't count so little hope it is telling us that how much hope there is little hope of his success students i hope that you got the explanation and can solve the exercises easily now in the first exercise a it is given that identify and write one determiner and one adjective from each of these sentences so first read the sentence properly and then see that where is the noun and which word is giving the extra information about that noun uh, and then see that which one is pointing the noun see the first sentence it is given if you have the book in your hand that this dish uses fresh mango puree and cream now here where is the noun first of all you have to find out now mango is the noun then which word is giving extra information fresh mango so your fresh is functioning as an adjective it is uh, modifying that noun and uh, this dish this dish again here 
uh, you can see that dash is the noun and this dash this is functioning as determiner because it is specifying it so in this way you can read the sentences and um, identify that which one is the determiner and which one is adjectives then in exercise b uh, the question is given that complete these sentences using a suitable determiners from the box so first of all read all the sentences properly don't do any hurry then read all the options which are given in the box then fill up the blanks in the same way in the c exercise a passage is given and uh, the options are given in the bracket so you have to choose the suitable determiners from the bracket so at the last summary is given in your book read the summary and uh, i hope that it's it's quite easy now to solve all these exercises so thank you for listening